as I've said before, you have four corners. The yellow is foam, the green is navigation, the blue is climate, and the red is entertainment. So now we're going to use the entertainment button, which is the red. So we click on it. As you can see, you have your AM radio and your FM radio. On here on the right of it, it has little light symbols. If you see next to it, it says FM1. When I push it again, it's going to say FM2, and the light has moved as well. When I push it again, it's going to say FM3. So we're going to start off at FM1. What this means is you can save and categorize the stations. So for example, when I push my preset button right here, I can have channel 87.9 on 1. But when I go into FM2 on my presets, I can save a different channel on one. So when I hold this down, you can see that it says 89.9 on one. And when I go back to FM1, it'll say my preset over here is 87.9. The reason why is it's so that you can categorize and save more on your presets. So FM1 could be, you know, your country, FM2 could be your news, FM3 could be talk shows or anything that you would like from your FM frequencies. It's all the same channels, it's just so you can save more and categorize them if you'd like. Now, back to presets. So see the button right here that says direct tune? When I click on it, it's going to be able to let me type in numbers. So if I type in a number here, I push enter, it's going to take me to that station. Then I'm going to push presets where it used to say direct tune, and now it shows my presets. So when I hold on to one, hold it down until it turns red. Once it's done that, it has let me know that it says preset saved. And now I've saved my favorite station. You can do this for all of them. And if you don't like the station, say again, I decided I didn't like it and I wanted something new, I can change it again. So it's not set there permanently. So again, this is your presets and this is your direct tune. Now, up to HD radio. When you're on HD radio, what will happen is if a station is available, you can go to options and turn your tag button on. What tag button is, is say for example a song is playing that you really, really, really like. You go back on the arrow screen, it'll showcase, right now it doesn't showcase on ours, but it'll showcase a song and there'll be a button with a little grocery cart and a, the word tag. When there is a tag button displayed right here, when a song is playing and you're on a favorite station, you can click the tag button and it will save to your phone and mark that that is the song you like to your iTunes from your iPhone. And what it will do is the next time you get on your computer and load into your iTunes, it will let you know that you chose that song so that you can buy it if you'd like. So that's what the tag button means. Again, in options right here when I click on it and it says tag button and you can turn it on. You also have your sound settings right here as well. You can change your sound settings, uh, the bass, the treble clef, the fade in and out, and that kind of thing. So that's where that's at. Now we're going to go back. You also had AM, which with AM1 and AM2, it does the same thing again as FM1, 2, and 3 did with the changing the presets and organizing them as well. Next we're going to go into is Sirius. And keep in mind this is all manual. We'll get to voice soon with the voice commands. Sirius here, you have the uh, presets again right here, and as you can see, direct tune right there. So Sirius is the same thing with the radio with the light. You have Sirius 1. If I push it again, it'll do Sirius 2. If I push it again, it'll say Sirius 3. Again, you can categories and save your stations on there. So I'm going to go back to Sirius 1 and say I want to direct tune to a station. You can hit the direct tune button right here. And I can type in a number, so say I want to go to channel 8, so I type in 0, 0, 8, enter. So it's going to take me to channel 8. Then say I want to save it. 
So I go back to my presets button where direct tune used to be. I click it and then I can save it by holding it down and it will say preset saved if I wanted to save it. Now say if a song is playing that I really like. See how there's an alert button right here. I can click on alert and alert me when I'm in the car if ever a song of that song is playing. So if this song was playing and I pushed alert, the next time or later when I'm driving, it'll alert me when a song is playing and take me to that station. So it doesn't even have to be on 80s on 8. It could be 90s on 9 playing that song and it'll take me to there so I can listen to that song again if I'd like. You do have um, Sirius free for six months if in your vehicle with a new car. Um, you also have an options button right here. When you click options, see how it says set category for seek scan? You can click on that and you can change it to where it can scan different channels. So if you don't want it to scan through all the channels, you can make it where it only scans through pop songs or rock songs and you can scroll down and see the whole list of all the different things you can change to. So keep that in mind. We're going to go back. Now, I had clicked options, so I'm going to click it again so you know where I'm at and there is the ESN number. So if you do ever choose to buy Sirius Radio, this is what they'll be looking for, the ESN number right here. And it was just under the options with your Sirius. Um, so, and then you call them and give them that number. I'm gonna go back. Now you can scan by just clicking this and the light will show up and you can scan through channels and see how it'll lightly just keep scanning. Um, if you want it to stop on that channel, you just click on it and the light will go off and you're on that channel. Now what replay is? A lot of people ask me what replay is. When you turn on replay, it'll actually record the last 40 minutes that you're playing. So if you want to re-listen to a talk show or the news or something like that, it'll replay it. So keep that in mind, that button is right there as well for you. So now we're going to practice the voice button with Sirius and radio. We're first going to start with the Sirius radio. I'm first going to push the voice button on my steering wheel. Please say a command. Sirius. Sirius, say a station name or number. Elvis. Tuning to Elvis. Now as you can see, she changed the station to Elvis Radio. I could have said Sirius and Channel 19. Either one of those would have worked. Now again, if I wanted to save this channel on my presets, all I do is just click and hold and it'll save it. So now Elvis is changed to my number one on Sirius 1. Now we're going to practice with the radio as well. Now I'm going to push the voice button. Locate on the steering wheel. Please say a command. Audio. Audio, say a command. Radio. Radio, say a frequency or preset. 100.5. Tuning to FM 100.5. As you can see, it'll change from Sirius to the radio and to 100.5. Now, keep in mind, you can say this without having to be on the red category. So if you are on the home category, as like I push the home, you could have used it by voice as well. So keep that in mind, you did not have to be in the entertainment area to do it all by voice. So now we're going to go back to the entertainment area. Now that we've done some things with the radio and Sirius, we're now going to talk about your USB. Your USB is your port for either the iPod or for the flash drive. And that is going to be located in your dash area. I will show you where it's located in this car. So here is where your USB ports are. This is where you can plug in an iPod player with the little white cord. Or you can actually buy a flash drive uh, at any store and plug it in here as well. Just make sure in the flash drive it has music only. All you have to do is just plug it in 
and then you go to your touch screen. Now we go to the touch screen and we can click on USB. Now right now we do not have a flash drive or an iPod hooked in, so when I push USB, it's just gonna let me know nothing is in there. But what you can do with an iPod or a flash drive, you can actually push your voice button that is located again on your steering wheel and push it and say USB and it'll start playing. The nice thing about it is you can push the voice button again and say play artist so and so and it'll play that artist. You can also push the voice button and say play song title and it'll play that song. You can also push the voice button and say shuffle on, shuffle off, pause, stop, play, play all. So keep in mind you again can use an iPod and a flash drive as well if you do not own an iPod. Now we're going to move on to my favorite part. When I scroll down to the arrow, you see where it has the little Bluetooth symbol. There are three lights indicating I can put three different things on here. We're going to go to it. For your safety, please stay alert to changing road conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. Now she does say that only because we're going to be bringing up music from off of our phone. So what you do is you first get on your phone you can bring up music from either your music files that you have stored onto your phone or you can even bring up Pandora, iHeartRadio, those kind of things as well or even YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my Pandora because a lot of people have Pandora. Now again I'm using a smartphone so this will be using my internet data. So Pandora is playing a song all I have to do is either click on here on the screen and have it start playing or I can push on the voice button on the steering wheel and say Bluetooth audio which I'm going to do right now. Please say a command. Bluetooth audio. Bluetooth audio. Say a command. Play. Now, as you can see, you can't hear anything right now. So first, make sure you check on your phone to make sure the volume is all the way up on it. And all the way up. So mine is, and you still cannot hear music in the background in your car speakers. So you then go to your steering wheel and turn up the car volume as well. So when I turn it up, as you can see, you can hear the music and see it playing. So, again, you can use Pandora, YouTube, iHeartRadio, um, you also can have uh, YouTube videos playing in the background as well on your phone, but again, it has to be playing on your phone first. The nice thing though about this is you didn't have to connect your phone into anything, and this doesn't just work for iPhones, it works for your droids, smartphones as well, and the Samsungs. So. Again, if you have a smartphone, this is a really great option for you to have your music on the go and with your Pandora as well.